Greetings, time to talk about factors and primes. Factors and primes. This is a good basic skill, and uh, it's going to help as you uh, move forward into exponents. So let's do uh, all factors um, of 65, and let's find out whether or not it's a prime or composite. And let's start with uh, trying to divide into 65. So 1 into 65, yes, we know that. 1 into 65 works. 1 almost always works. What else goes into uh, 65? Let's try 5. We know that. 5 and 13, because 13 times 5 equals 65. So 1, 5, 13, those go into 65, and of course, 65 goes into 65, 1 times 65. So that's our, um, that's our number, and it is most definitely composite. It's the only prime here is 13, because 13, no matter how you divide it, it's always 1 and 13. Whereas <coughs> composites, you have other numbers that can go into it. So there's your composite, and here's your prime. We'll talk more about that as we go forward. Thank you. And just to be sh just to be clear, 15, 5 rather, and 13 are both prime numbers, but 65 is a composite number. Um, and let me show you another composite number like this one, where you work we factor a monster number, 70,560, and when it gets factored, it has 2 to the 5th, 3 to the 2nd, times 5, times 7 to the 2nd. There's 10 factors. You might be wondering how 10 factors are there. 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 1, which you don't see, is 8, plus 2 more is 10. 10 factors. So uh, again, 5 and 13 are most definitely, um, most definitely prime. But in this case, the question was identify the factors and identify whether or not 65 was a composite, and it is a composite. Thanks for watching.